Peter. Mr. Speaker, uh, sorry to disrupt proceedings, but uh, at the rise of the House yesterday, you gave a very important communication, something which I strongly feel goes to the heart of the exercise that you are carrying out the last two days, a very important exercise that this House is undergoing. And you gave a very important communication on conduct and becoming on the part of certain uh, people that refer to as state officers. So I wanted to request, Mr. Speaker, that we beg your indulgence, you allow us at least a few minutes to react to that communication because there are senators here who have been mentioned and of course people are wondering whether there are other forces that are guiding us as we undergo this business. Therefore, it will be unfair I felt that yesterday might have been the time to speak to it, Mr. Speaker, but given that it was very late at night, going almost to 1 a.m. in the morning, I wanted to request if you could allow us, Mr. Speaker, to register our dissatisfaction, particularly uh, those that have been mentioned and us as a House. Very well, uh, Majority Leader. You will allow the clerk to read uh, the first order, and then I will allow... Uh, just three senators from uh, each side uh, speaking for two minutes each. And then we go straight to the business of uh, the day. Clerk, proceed, please. Order number one, communication from the chair. We will, uh, I will allow comments on the communication that I did uh, at the rise of the House uh, last night. And um, I'll take three senators from each side, each speaking for two minutes. The majority leader kindly take the floor. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Senate, I want to register my disappointment in the increasingly unbecoming conduct of Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria a man who's continually embarrassing the appointing authority and casting serious doubts on the choice ability of none other than His Excellency, the President. Mr. Speaker, sir, that tweet was in bad taste. It paints senators as cheap people who have no cognitive abilities to make interpretation of the matters that are before us and make a sober decision that is in the interest of the Constitution and the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, this is the 14th impeachment hearing that the Senate is hearing, and I've had opportunity to vote in almost all of them. I take great exception in the conduct of Moses Kuria, in the tweet that he sent out, and the things that he said about this House and the colleagues that he's listed. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I now agree with members of this House who have brought censure motion before to discuss the conduct of this particular minister because at every given opportunity he has done nothing other than embarrass the appointing authority. In fact, it is my submission, Mr. Speaker, that the earlier C.S. Moses Kuria is let off his duty, the better for this administration, Mr. Speaker. Because every single day, in every action that he undertakes, he continues to embarrass the president and the people. No wonder the people of Kiambu resoundingly rejected his bid to be their governor, Mr. Speaker. It's because of this kind of habit, the kind of things that he says, how he goes about his duties, Mr. Speaker, and overall his conduct as a human being. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, let Mr. Kuria know wherever he is that senators cannot be intimidated, that the kind of monkey business he's trying to introduce cannot be allowed to stand, Mr. Speaker, because this is a distraction. Senator Kojong. Uh, Mr. Speaker, first allow me to congratulate you for your resilience. The communication being referred to was made 